Oktoberfest. This is four of the six official Munich Oktoberfest beers. And I know this video is late. Unless you watch in the future, then maybe it's early. But I wanted to include Spaten. I couldn't get that here in Stockholm. So I had a friend, very kindly, bring it from Gothenburg. And the beers that are still missing here on the sides are Hakepsho and Augustina. And they are pretty much impossible to get here in Sweden. So maybe next year I have to travel down to Germany to get them. But this is super exciting. I've never tried these beers side by side like this. I have a series where I try the Helles versions against the Oktoberfest beers. It's uh, up here, I think. And my memory from these are that Löwenboy is the spiciest, Paulana is the heavy breadiest, Spaten is the most boring, <laughs> and Hofboy I can't really remember. It was something strange, maybe something nutty in the flavor. But today I might completely change my mind, who knows. So let's crack them open. Löwenbräu. I think I can just pour them straight down like this. These glasses are one liter, uh, one mass. So no risk of overflowing. Spaten. And as usual with German beers, I don't know if I get really thirsty or really hungry. <laughs> because it smells so much bread, you know. Paulana, let's see if it smells the breadiest of them. You know, just sniffing from a distance. Maybe. Hard to tell. And Hofboy. The Hofboy Helles is maybe my favorite because of the sweet beginning and the dry finish. But I remember didn't really like the Oktoberfest beer. Wow, isn't this a sight? <laughs> I know I poured Hofboy last, but it's still a big difference between the heads. It looks like Hofboy also is the palest one, and Löwenboy is uh, the darkest. Or it has something to do with the daylight, which is coming in from that direction. Alright, let's start sniffing. Okay. I wouldn't have any idea which beer this was in a blind test. But it has maybe a little more stingy aroma than expected. Lemon mixed with uh, spring flowers. And also some sort of, of compact bread with uh, spices. Uh, pepper. Spaten. Ooh, a much more perfumey aroma. Interesting. I didn't really get that uh, the last time. That's why it's so interesting comparing different beers. Paulana, also perfumey. These are both perfumey, but in slightly different ways. This is more, I don't know if I said the same thing in my Helles versus Oktoberfest beer, but this kind of perfumey scent is more like uh, from a cleaning uh, liquid. And this is maybe more women's perfume, <laughs> but of course mixed with uh, lemon as well. Hofboy. There are get more of the malt actually. Okay, now when I'm comparing them faster, I don't get the same amount of perfume anymore. Maybe I've gotten used to it now. But I sometimes get that, both in aroma and taste, with higher alcohol lagers. Okay, let's sniff backwards. Maybe actually Löwenboy is uh, the breadiest in the aroma. But let's get the actual taste. Prost, cheers, skål. That's nice. I didn't remember the breadiness being that dry in the finish. It reminds me if you've ever tasted uh, the scones dough. It also has a little bit of uh, bitterness blended with the... Uh, the dry breadiness. Spaten. Yeah, it doesn't uh, dry up in the same way. It's uh, The finish is much sweeter. I don't know what I prefer, actually. They are both kind of nice. Paulana. 
this I remember being the breadiest. Let's see if that's correct. Oh yeah, super bready. This is what we usually call uh, knäckebröd in Swedish. So rye crisp bread. It has that kind of uh, compact breadiness. And hofbräu. That might have had the most perfume still in the taste. For the other ones, I didn't really think about that. Let's have a glass of water and then compare the perfume levels. Yeah, Hofbräu has the most level of perfume, almost bordering towards a soapy taste. What else should we compare? The bitterness, maybe. Let's start from this side. The bitterness is low in all of these, but the Löwenbräu has a bit of bitterness coming late in the finish. And after these beers, that feels really refreshing and new, you know? What else? Maybe the highest amount of lemon citrusy notes? Spaten has the most lemons in the first seconds, but after you have struggled through the perfumey, soapy taste, the Hofbräu has the most lemon aftertaste. And then, maybe lastly, the levels of breadiness you can feel in them. Surprisingly, it feels like Löwenbräu is the breadiest, but maybe that's because it's also the driest in the finish. The Hofbräu, because of that perfumey taste, together with the malt, almost gives it more of a, a nutty taste. What is that nut called? It's a hasselnöt in Swedish. Kobnut. I've never heard that word. Kobnut. Oh, it's also called hazelnut. Pretty similar. Oh, it's going to be hard picking a winner here. Let me go through them slowly. In the beer tents at Oktoberfest, you get only one of these, of course. Unless you change between the tents, but I don't think that's the easiest thing to do. So would I drink 405 Löwenbräu? Not impossible. That dry finish is actually also a bit nutty. But not in the same way, really. Would I drink 5 Spaten? I think the amount of lemon combined with... Uh, a low malt body and uh, almost no bitterness would drive me crazy after a while. <laughs> How about Paulana? Yeah, that feels like I could get another sip straight away. I do feel a little bit of booziness now, but I didn't get that in the beginning, so I don't know. Hofboy, probably my last favorite. It's actually growing on me. Maybe my taste buds are going numb now. <laughs> but that perfume in combination with the lemon and the nuts, it's pretty strange. So maybe Löwenbräu? Yeah, it has the right balance in uh, my opinion. Just enough lemon and uh, dry bread finish. And a tiny bit more bitterness than the others. Oh, let's check out the ABV, by the way. Löwenbräu, 6.1%. Spaten, 5.9%. Paulana, 6.0%. And Hofbräu, 6.3%. So the strongest one. All right, one last recap. Yeah, Paulana is pretty nice as well, but... I prefer the Löwenbräu aftertaste. So this is the one I pick, if I only can pick one of these. Check out this playlist for my other Oktoberfest videos and uh, remember... Drink Respa!